Welcome to this time of reflection. I'm Jardine Holton and I'm a supervisee and a supervisor and trainer of supervisors. At last Saturday, I was joined for a conference on supervision by Dr. Michael Carroll and over 60 reflective practitioners. And we were reflecting on supervision, looking back over 25 years of practice and looking forward to the emerging profession of supervision. The theme we took for the day was seeing the wood for the trees. And this is really about reflective practice and what tools have, can we develop that help us to be more reflective as practitioners. So seeing the wood for the trees. Within supervision, this ability to stand back and reflect is called taking a meta stance. And for me, a key part of reflective practice is developing a capacity for self-reflection. So for me, self-reflection is about developing that capacity to stand apart, rise above what's happening so that I can get a clearer view of what is happening. And again, within supervision, this is called a meta stance or the hawk view. And within that is self-reflection, catching ourselves. It means being able to relate with what's happening rather than from it. So self-reflection is relating with what's happening rather than from it. In other words, self-reflection helps me to relate with what's here now rather than react to it. So respond rather than react. And no matter how evolved we think each of us are, we are always going to be caught into reactivity. So that's part of our vulnerability and our humanity. What's important is how quickly we might become aware of it and make a choice then. So this self-reflection, noticing whether I'm relating with or to or reacting to. And this can be in action or on action. So how am I relating? So it's about catching ourselves in the moment as quickly as we can. And as we catch ourselves, take that wisdom pause and maybe say, yes, I can see I'm reacting here. I'm reactive. And then that gives us the freedom maybe to choose our action. So this is the yin and the yang of practice, being and doing catching ourselves in that wisdom pause and that opens up the door for more relational uh, connection within supervision and over the past 25 years one tool that I have found very helpful in developing my own capacity for self-reflection is uh, developed from the world of transformational learning through Jack Mesereau and others and the tool you may be familiar with is often referred to as a capacity for CSRA critical self-reflection on assumptions. So over the years, I have adapted that tool and I now uh, have named it Compassionate Self-Reflection on Action. So with that courageous compassion, I really took a, take a clear look at my action. And this can be in action, in a supervisory session, in a moment of practice, or can be later on action. And I know sometimes uh, compassionate practice can be misunderstood as being soft or easy, letting us off the hook. But I don't find it that way if it's really the, the compassionate practice that I'm referring to. This talks about taking a long, loving look at the real, at what and how I was in that moment. And if I catch myself in reactivity, I call myself out on that. But I do it in a constructive and an authentic way. So that tool of CSRA, compassionate, self-reflection on action or inaction, can help us to be freer around how we can choose to continue to act, whether we need to change in the moment or whether we need to go back and revisit a moment in action and what are the consequences of that and how do I need to take authentic responsibility for that. And as I said, it's not about being critical in criticizing ourselves, but compassionately calling ourselves up 
on what my action we might need to take. And it's interesting, last uh, Monday, I scheduled to watch a very interesting program on whistleblowers across many sectors. And I was so impressed with the courage of the whistleblowers when they saw what needed action. Many of them actually nearly sacrificed themselves and their life to speak up for truth. So I'm seeing in a very uh, different way and in a maybe a, a more uh, personal way, CSRA, Compassionate Self-Reflection and Action, is asking me to be my own whistleblower, to catch myself when I'm not up to uh, how I want to be in a moment. Maybe there's something around a justice issue that I need to attend to for myself. Or maybe I'm not, I'm, uh, not standing into my power. Or maybe I'm, not, maybe I'm overpowering another. So it's all very thought-provoking, the whole area of reflection and particularly self-reflection and the tool that I've developed that continues to help me to be not only a better practitioner, but I hope becoming a better person as well. That CSRA, compassionate self-reflection on action or inaction. And to end, let's just hold the famous saying, the longest journey is the journey inward. And that's about really being compassionately but courageously honest with ourselves in how we relate or react to what's happening. And for me, that is truly seeing the wood for the trees. And it really is a, is a helpful and authentic practice of reflective practice in action.